Okay, so this is the beginning of kind of a collective haul. The first few bits I've gotten were from Shein. I put in an order for some stuff for vacation coming up, so I thought I would try out some of their craft items. I had never ordered from Shein before, so I'll kind of show you what I've got here. First off is just some clay little like spacer beads, um, just for some dangle charms for my paper crafts. I also got some clay stars and I will put up the price of each thing in the comments or in the description or somewhere on um, the screen. I think, I don't think Shein's prices change. I, I do have some items from Timu and I think that their, their prices vary. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. I also got some butterfly pins. Um, I use these for just um, like ribbon, like after I cut off um, this bit of the ribbon and so the ribbon isn't, you know, coming apart, I like to pin it and I was just kind of low on some pins. So I picked up some more. So yeah, just kind of you know, kind of like that. And I I think they had bows and stuff too. Why I got the butterflies, I'm not 100% sure. I think they were just kind of like the first thing I've seen. So yeah, that's what I like to do with any kind of head pin really, but um yeah. I got these because they were a little bit longer. I think the head pins that I have now are a little shorter and are bulbous at the end and these are flat. So these are good for sewing as well. So that's those. I got a few molds. I got this mold, which is a cameo mold, but I thought that this uh, frame would be really cool. I will probably, I don't know, I've never used a cameo mold before, but it could be fun. Could you, so you can use it for clay or resin. Um, most likely I'll use it with clay. I also got this candy mold. So we have some different lollipops. It looks like an ice cream cone, a cupcake, uh, just kind of like a round candy, a heart cookie. I think it says love on it. And I think this is just a sweet or I'm not quite sure. It says something, but I can't see what it says. I think it says sweet. Um, but this mold looks a little dirty, but yeah, I, again, I've never ordered anything from them before, but this mold looks a little dirty and it could just be from factory or, or whatever. And I'll clean them obviously before use. And then this one I didn't open yet, but this is a macaroon and this is a little bit bigger than what I thought it would be. I was kind of hoping for a smaller one so I can make charms for dangles and, and stuff like that. But you know, I, I'll use it for something, something. But yeah, I mean, they, they, they seem pretty sturdy. They don't seem like they're gonna like rip really easy. So I will try these. That should be interesting. I also got some tassels. I was hoping for more of a variety, this kind of like fall color scheme, but I do have some lemon, orange, and lime little paper crafts that I'm gonna do soon. So maybe I'll incorporate those with these. This is a nice little fall one or orange and this blue. Yeah. yeah, again, I was hoping for a little bit more of a variety, but I just kind of want to see what the quality was of these before, you know, I ordered a bigger lot of them, but they seem good. I think they'll be perfect for paper crafts, I think. So I don't think I'd use them for jewelry making, but for, you know, dangles or paper crafts, I think that they'll work just fine. I also got some like, claw, like keychain type of clips. Um, these are a little bit bigger than I thought and a little heavier than I thought. But I wanted again to try try them. Um, I'll use them for something. I know that we'll like in a couple of my swap groups. Sometimes we'll do tassels, like ribbon tassels and stuff like that. So that will be good for these planner tassels, whatever you want to call them. So I think that these will come in handy. 
and last but not least i got a few die cuts now this one is just a, kind of a simple circle one with one two three four five six seven eight nine different circle size circles this one is some cactus thought that would be cute this one is just some tags different size tags i i do have this this big large tag but i don't have any of the smaller sizes in this style so i got that and i got some bows i think it's three different styles oh it's double bagged so you got this bigger one small one and a medium size one so that's what those look like. So th three different size bows. And then I got, I got a ticket and like a film reel. I do have a swap coming up for some altered tickets. So I thought that this would be handy for those. And I mean, I'll do something with a film reel. It, it will be cute on a card or something like that. So this is my haul for Shein and I have Timu coming in just a few days. Okay, so I'm back with some things from Timu. Now I I purchased all these things. Nothing was sent to me, no discounts or anything like that. I just wanted to order something from there. I see keep seeing hauls of people with Timu stuff, and it's it's basically the same thing as AliExpress. The prices vary and stuff, but it comes a lot faster. Like when I order stuff from AliExpress, it seems like it takes months, where this only took like two weeks, less than quite a little bit less than two weeks. So I will show you some of the stuff that I got. Um, I think I'll start, I have a whole bucket here of stuff, but I think I'll start with um, the molds. Maybe I thought I had two molds. Okay, I guess I just have these two. So, this mold is some Christmas ornaments. I, I like it. It's nice and shallow, so I can make, like, basically some cabochons, some things like that, um, either out of resin or clay. So, there is that one. And... Here is a flower one. I think, I'm hoping that these are going to be really pretty. I think it's going to be a lot like, a lot like these. I'm sure you've seen these around before, um, a couple more variations, but I feel like they're going to be a lot like this where, you know, I can just put stickers on the back. I can make them out of resin or clay uh, for my paper crafts. So that's what I'm looking at. And I, I think that it's going to be similar. I was going to make my own mold out of these, um, but this one was already done for me. And I think this was, it was relatively cheap. I will put, oh, there's a hair on it. Um, I'll put all the price in pricing on the screen again this prices will vary when this stuff goes out of stock I don't one thing I don't like about Timu is that if it's out of stock you can't even like put it in your car I don't like that you can't like put things on a wish list or anything like that like you can with AliExpress that kind of irritates me uh but you know it is what it is for inexpensive things I don't you know what do you expect so those are the molds that I got I got this like, I think it's like a double-sided tape. Let me try this. Let's see. Well, it's not super sticky, but it is sticky. And I thought, I thought I've read somewhere that it was like double-sided, but I could be completely wrong oh, yeah I guess it just shows opening one end I don't know where I seen double-sided it could have been something else that I was looking at um but yeah it's just kind of you know just tape strip but this was like really inexpensive though I thought I'd give it a go 
and see what it's like. I think this, I feel like this pops off and it could be just to add a refill cartridge in there. Not really sure, but there's that. I also got a wide variety of these clay beads. Again, these were super cheap. I think they were like under a dollar a piece. Um, I got this one because I had multiple colors, um, but these are just variations of one color. So these are yellow and white. You get quite a few. I want to say they were like 71 cents or something like that. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, just to make dangles and stuff, they're not super universal. I'm sure you can see from there um, that some of the holes look smaller than others. This one looks a little wonky. Um, but again, I guess if there's multiple ones, you know, together you're not going to notice it but I got yellow I got red green and blue and they do come in nice little packaging like that so I do I do, I do like that um next I got these little beads I thought these would be fun for summer spring charms I guess I should say um but that's what they look like. I love this color. They're super cute. They have like a little iridescent little leaf on the top. But those are cute. I like those. Um, let's talk about <laughs> some sequins and glitter mixes that I got. So I have like good and bad. So I got a couple of these just brown sequins um, that I thought were in pretty colors. I, these, again, were pretty inexpensive. But I thought, you know, it's not a bad little batch for the price because I think they were probably around a dollar or something. So I'm not disappointed in these. This is good to add into like a sequin mix. So I liked those. And then <laughs> I got a couple different batches here. Like, so these mixes, I'm sure that these were more expensive, um, but you got a good amount. So this is from the same uh, seller, just different colors. Uh, so I got two different colors of the mixes and, I, you know, you got you get a fair amount. I don't know grams or anything like that. I haven't weighed them or anything, but I feel like you get a good, good amount here and a good variation of, you know, shapes and colors. So I like these. This one feels so disappointing. Like, I'm sure it was probably around a dollar or, I mean, it could have been less, but honestly, like, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong, but after, like, one, maybe two shakers, if you're adding some other um, sequins or glitter in with it, it'll, it'll be gone. But it is pretty, but I feel like the quantity is just not, not great. I also got these little stars. And again, th these are pretty. Um, the quantity is better than this one. Uh, but, you know, it's still just kind of an okay. Like after, you know, a couple uses, uh, it'll be gone. But I I'm pretty sure they're inexpensive, so I can't complain too much. But, well, you yeah, know. So that's that. Some beads. More beads. What else did I get? Let me see. I got these fruit clay like cane confetti type of sprinkles nail art whatever you want to call them um but this is a variety of different so you got regular sprinkles strawberries grapes bananas grapefruit more strawberries like strawberry slices kiwi lemons watermelon and dragon fruit these are really cute i think that these will be really cute in some summer shaker cards or anything like that and these were a good price too like you get a good quantity like i feel like this this was good so i recommend these i really like this because i've also purchased i don't know if i have them right off the top of my head Actually, here. 
So for instance, I got these from Hobby Lobby. Granted, these were on clearance, so I think I only paid 99 cents, but look at the quantity of them. And I feel like the quality of these are a little bit better. I think I may have paid three or four dollars for these, but I got so much more and I feel like the, the the vibrancy of the colors and everything are a little bit better in the Timu ones than the Hobby Lobby ones. So I think that these are a good buy. I would, I would get these again or, you know, different shapes, variations, whatever you want to call it. Although I would say that this lid didn't go on super tight, so that's a little tricky. Be careful with that. I got these little summer cabochons. They're very pastel, very cute. Um, I wanted to try one pack before I ordered more because I wasn't quite sure on the quantity, color, anything like that. They're kind of like a blind bag. You just kind of guess what you're going to get, but they give you kind of like a color scheme. But these are really cute and springy. I think they'll be cute for some spring crafts. So that's those ones. I got some more clay beads right here. These are a variation of Halloween ones. These were pretty inexpensive, but you know, they're, the quality is kind of, some are cute, some are not. Like, I don't understand what this blue guy is. You know, the ghosts are cute. The skull is cute. I think this is, I don't even know what that is, a crab? <laughs> uh, a bug? I'm not quite sure. Um, a bat? I don't know what this is either. Almost looks like a game controller. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Smiley face. Uh, these were just a, kind of okay. Oh, there's some Frankenstein. So some of them are really cute, and some of them are just yeah. I don't I don't quite get what they are. Like yeah, this guy, the blue guy, and this one. I I don't understand what it is, but you know they're cute. What I what I don't like, I just kind of put in a a box and give it. Give them to kids. You know, kids don't care. They'll, they just want to play with them. And then these are some fruit ones. The fruit ones are really cute. They'll make some cute dangly charms. They got a good variety. Um, I think the... I'm not quite sure that, what that is. I think it's supposed to be bananas. I'm not quite sure. But the rest are, are really cute. You can tell what they are. They're cute. I also got these beads. I thought that these were matte, but maybe I didn't order matte. I thought that I did, but they're just kind of a, a variety of colors. They are kind of springy, pastel-y colors, so those are cute. They feel good. I mean, they feel like a gumball bead, but they don't feel like a, like a super cheap plastic. I mean, there are plastic, they are lightweight, but they don't seem like like dollar store quality. These seem nice. I like those. I got these drink charms. So they're just like, I think that's an avocado. So some avocado water. <laughs> There's some kiwi. Uh, that's panda. So panda water. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what that one is. Banana. See, these ones make sense. So lemon, orange, grapefruit, even like a strawberry makes sense. Grape. Um, some of these don't quite make sense, but they are cute. They're, they'll be cute little charms. Again, what, what I don't like, I just kind of have a collective little bucket that I put stuff in and give them to kids. Kids love, love that kind of stuff. Um, I also got some lobster clasps. It's a good variety of colors, a lot, a lot of greens, but that's okay. I really like teals and mints and stuff. I wish that, yeah, maybe there's a purple or something like that. I think there's brown. I don't know how often I would use that, but these are cute. I love this cobalt blue. Um, that one doesn't look like it's together very well. So let's see what the quality is like. See, this one is the only one that I see that has like a gap where it kind of falls short. Um, 
but the rest of them seem okay. They're lightweight, but they, they're super cute. This is the only one, which I really like that blue too, which is unfortunate that it has a little gap. Now, if you were just gonna make like a little dangle charm for a paper craft or something like that, you could fill that in or, you know, glue it shut if you, if you don't expect anybody to take it off. Alright, what else do I got? I got some little bells. I thought that these could be cute. Is again on some charms, some dangles, a lot of pinks and purples, a couple black, a couple red, one orange, one green, one yellow, one mint. Most are pink, which is fine, and purple. They are a little bit bigger than I thought they would be. I thought that they would be a little bit smaller, but they're so cute. I got some little tassels. Now these tassels are smaller than I thought that they would be. I thought that they would be a little bit bigger, but again, I did not look at any reviews or anything. I just kind of went off of first glance pictures, but these will be really cute for some paper crafts because they are small and dainty. Um, without being bulky with paper crafts, I think that these are cute. Um, you get a pretty good variety, a lot of pinks. Again, a lot of blue, one orange, one green, one yellow, one little turquoise, a cobalt, that one's navy, that one's navy, light blue, four pinks, a cream, like a mustardy color. But those are cute, just little, little baby things. Okay, a couple die cuts. Let's see what die cuts I got. So I got the star one. I thought that, that could be cute. It's like a star little circle or wreath, whatever you want to call it. It would be cute for some cards. It's just like that. It looks like well, it is attached. I think I would leave that, but I think that this one, this piece can be detached for some just random stars. I got some leaves. Again, I thought these would be cute for some spring and summer paper crafts. So those are cute. Some ferns, some monstera. Very cute. Uh, they, they feel good. I mean, they are going to be thin, but they're cute. I got some ladybugs. Very simple, but I, th I feel like yeah, these are gonna be super cute. So you have one that has its wings open and one that has them closed. And last but not least, I got some little envelopes. I find that making little envelopes for paper crafts is just kind of a pain in my ass. <laughs> I don't like to do it, but I figured with a little die where it's already kind of seamed for you I think that they would fold nice and just cut easily so I love to put these on little paper clips or something like that especially for Valentine's Day and stuff these are so cute but uh they were kind of a pain yeah I just don't like to make them I've had you know I have a couple templates like this but if I can just you know die cut it out I feel like that would be so much easier than cutting it like fussy cutting it myself which I just don't like to do because I'm lazy um, I got this little bee. Uh, you're pro this, but this is probably going to be really hard to see. This little bee wax. Uh, uh, this feels pretty cheap and chintzy, but this has a, a decent weight to it. Um, I figured that this would be cute for some summer paper crafts as well. I love little bees. Um, I think I wanted... A couple other ones but it seems like the wax seals are really low on stock right now for some reason um so yeah that's the one i got a little bee got some other little paper craft things i'm not quite sure what this is i think that these are just kind of words or phrases 
It is just little phrases, a little ephemera. These are cute. It's a variety of different little sayings. Most of them are, you know, uplifting, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's just a paperback. I don't think that it's any kind of sticker. But these are cute. That mess here. I, you know, I'm not 100% sure what I thought this was, or I think this is a little smaller than I thought, but for junk journaling, these will be really cute. So they're just kind of little sheets. I think that these are too small for pocket letters. Yeah, this is a lot smaller than a pocket letter, but close, close. This is standard pocket letter size. So they're a little smaller than that, but I think they're cute. Again, cute for junk journaling or any kind of paper crafts. There's a couple different patterns. Just want to see all the patterns. Very nice springy, summery colors. So those are cute. Uh, I got this little, I've seen people use these little cutters, kind of like an exacto knife, but it like is supposed to swivel. Um, so I got one to play around with. I think these are, I don't know if these are different types of blades. So that's one blade. Yeah, so it's just a different angle of blade on each one. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how this will work. Let's see if I can find a piece of scrap paper. I don't really have anything right at the moment that I can grab. Well, I guess we'll, we'll just try to cut one of these little pieces of paper and see how it works. Well, it's not super sharp. Maybe I'm not using enough pressure. Hmm. And it could be that this paper's too thin. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit more and see what I'm doing wrong. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. So there's that. these spatulas um i'm not quite sure why i got these but they were tiny and i thought they would be easy to get you know, paint out of bottles and jars mixing stuff like that so i think that's why i grabbed it one side is kind of indented so it's kind of scoop and then your spatula side on that side and there's different widths and tallness like this one will probably be good for the kitchen for like jars or bottle, you know, sauces maybe. I'm not quite sure. And then these littler ones I feel like could be good for resin, paint, stuff like that. I think that, you know, yeah, this kind of stuff always comes in handy. You never know. Um, I think, oh, I got two more things. Oh, I have one other glitter mix that I didn't see. So I think this is the same one as this one, just a different color. Um, although, Oh, it's about the same amount, um, just a different color. Again, I don't know if I would order these ones. Again, they, they are really pretty. So I guess if, if you found a color that like, oh, that's perfect for this card or this one occasion, uh, one time use, uh, then that's it. You just don't get a, a lot of qual quantity, not quality, the quantity. Um, I got this tool that just has some silver stars. I like to make um, little bows and um, rosettes out of tool for my paper craft, so I thought that this would be really cute. Yeah, I think that that would be really cute. I mean, it, technically it just feels like 
like stuck on sequence but you know I'm not doing that myself so it's cute and you get quite a bit I'm not quite sure how much this was I'm, I think it was two or three bucks but you get a good good quant quality or quantity and it is seven inches wide by how many feet I'm not quite sure but it's cute it's really cute and last but not least is some paper. And it's just basic six by six little paper, but I liked the polka dots. That's why I grabbed it. I thought about getting some more um, six by six paper because it's really inexpensive, but I wanted to get just a little bit and see what the quality was like and quantity. So I think those are close close to the same color so it's all different colors but just a slight color variation of the colors and it's got a good thickness it's not super thin um but not like super thick either so not bad i think um i would probably order Again, it's by a company, it's just, it says the Ant Craftsman. 12 sheets. Oh, it does have heavy, it does say heavy weight on it. But again, you know, when you're, when you're getting things from overseas, you just don't know if it's going to be the same it is, as it is in the States, you know. Um, but I think I would order, order some of this again so if I found more by this company that's this weight so I already know what it's like I think I would order this again because this is really cute um so yeah this is my collective haul <laughs> for she and I had a few things I'll add that at the beginning of the video and then this is Timu most things again I think I would order again or a variation I've never ordered from Timu before so I wanted to see what it was like and how long it would take to get this stuff but all in all, I really like it, and yes. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try to link as much of this stuff in the description as I can. I know that sometimes if it's out, you might not see it. I'm not quite sure, but I will link everything I can below and put pricing so you can see that as well. So thank you. Talk to you again. Bye.